Hello everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to another video from the Tiny Menagerie. If you have a small tank of about 40 litres and you're wondering what fish you can keep in it, then you would do very well to take a look at these little guys. These are glow light tetras, a tiny fish with a fantastic personality that is ideally suited for smaller tanks. Both males and females have a lovely soft silvery brown body with this vibrant streak of bright orange running down from their eye to their flanks, making them a very eye-catching species without being too garish. But what are glow light tetras like to keep and what kind of setup do they need? Well, like a lot of tetras, glow lights hail from South America, where they inhabit dark, slow-flowing waters often flanked with dense vegetation. Although they are also seen in open areas as well, and this being the case, glow light tetras are wonderfully adaptable to different tank situations. They will happily be out in the open in a brightly lit situation, as well as swimming amongst the decor and under foliage in a more dimly lit tank. One thing to note though is that they will change colour according to their surroundings, and if you want to get the brightest flash of orange from them, then they will need to be in a dimmer tank with a dark substrate. In very brightly lit situations they can look rather washed out. They are a little bit more picky though when it comes to pH, and they do tend to do much better in a slightly acidic tank with a pH of around 6 to 6.5, but they will happily live in a wide range of temperatures anywhere between 20 to 28 degrees. Glow light tetras as well can certainly be classed as a small fish, as they tend to max out at just around 1.5 inches. But because they're a very slimline fish too, they actually take up very little space in the tank, and in a 40 litre aquarium you can quite happily keep a group of 6 to 10 of them. But one thing to note about group sizes is that I've found with this species is that it's one that tends to whittle down. So you might go out and buy 6 of them, and then over the months, one by one, sadly, you will find they slowly die off. Like a lot of the very small tetras, such as neons or embers, they can be like this as well. And I'm really not sure why this happens with some species. With neons, I've always blamed overbreeding or poor genetics, but it might just be something to do with being a very small tetra. But it does mean I'm not actually very fussy about group size with these little ones, and I certainly don't always try to maintain that group size of six. In fact, right now I only have two. These two came in with a group of 10, and over the years they have whittled down to just this pair remaining, but they seem quite happy with each other and their tank, so I don't want to make any changes that might upset that. So while I would always say, try to buy a minimum of six of them at once, they are a shoaling species and they like the company of their own kind, it's not a value set in stone, and I feel it's better sometimes to look at the fish and decide for yourself if you think they look happy with themselves or not. If not, buy a few more, if they are, try not to upset the status quo too much, I don't want to lose any more of them. And right now, mine seem quite content, but should anything happen to either of them, I would obviously go out and immediately buy a few more glow lights, as one lone shoaling fish is guaranteed to be rather distressed. Also just a note, if you do plan on keeping glow lights in a small tank, do make sure to give them a little bit of space in there for swimming, they're actually really quite active for a tetra. Most of their kin are the laziest small fish you will ever come across, but glow lights buck that trend and like to be on the move. They're not necessarily hunting, it seems they just like to keep active, and so they do need somewhere to stretch those fins. And they also don't always shoal together, neither. Individuals tend to go off and do their own thing, then they'll occasionally come back together and swim as a group. In general though, Glow lights are a supremely peaceful fish that is very easy to be around and to watch. They are active without being boisterous, perfect if you are creating a very gentle and mellow atmosphere in a tank. They're a bit like the warm Sunday afternoon of a fish. When it comes to other tank mates for them, glow lights are perfectly compatible with all other small fish, and even larger ones, just so long as they're not big enough to see them as a snack. They can also be kept with rather boisterous fish, like barbs without any trouble, and as they can, put, they can put on quite a turn of speed when they need to, they're usually pretty safe being in with fin nippers. They are also reasonably shrimp safe. I have never seen them go for an adult shrimp, but I have no doubt at all they would readily devour any little shrimplet that happened to drift by in the current. 
Luckily though, as well as shrimplets, glowlight tetras will happily consume most types of food offered to them. Just bear in mind they are a very small fish with a very small mouth. And they also don't really like to take food from the substrate if they can help it. They prefer to catch things which is drifting by them in the water column. This being the case though, any food that is too big for them will simply fall past them and end up on the substrate where they are pretty unlikely to find it. But they will very happily eat any small pellets or fine flake foods, as well as small frozen foods such as brine shrimp or daphnia. Overall though, glow lights are a symbol species to keep. They have low demands in terms of both space and feeding. They are a fish that is perfect for a calm and mellow tank that's easy to watch and be around without ever being boring. Anywho though, I hope you've enjoyed this little video all about glow light tetras. Happy fish keeping everyone and I will see you again soon. Bye bye!